Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I am here to do an introduction for a new project. This is Deck of Panning, and it is a project that was created by Emily. Her channel name is Emily and Max, and this project is amazing. It's kind of complicated, and I'm going to do my best to explain it. I have notes. It's an amazing, really fun project that with the name you can probably imagine involves a deck of cards and emily is also the creator of the graveyard project pan that's i think how most people know her so the deck of panning project was adapted from a booktubers tbr game which tbr stands for to be read and she used I think a deck of cards as well. I actually haven't watched that video yet. It's kind of on my list of things to watch but the booktuber's name is Books with Maddie. That's where Maddie adapted this um, deck of panning project from. This project is going to run from January 20th through December 20th and there are going to be monthly updates. Emily also has created a spreadsheet which includes a lot of different things. It includes the game information, so the rules, the uh, game board, so there is a game board, also the participants, and there's also going to be a like a YouTube playlist. So I'll include all of that information down below including Emily's channel, Maddie's channel as well. Um, so all that information will be down in the description box. So I mentioned at the beginning that we do need a deck of cards for this game. And I actually have this deck of cards from, I think I bought these when I went to Spain to visit my sister when she was there, when she was living there for like six months when she was in school, I think. So for this project, we keep all the cards except for we take out all but one joker. So for this deck, I have two jokers. So I'm just going to take one out and leave one in the deck. I had to change my battery, so I may have moved. So to start with the game, we shuffle our deck and we pull five cards. And based on the game board, which I will show in a minute, we will then there's prompts for each of the cards that we would pull. So then we would select products based on those prompts. There is a potential down the road, it's not on the initial game board, but there is a potential to get a prompt that is a plus one, where we would then add a product to the five total that we have. So you eventually could have more than five products in the project at one time. So that is a possibility down the road. There's potential to have more than five at any given moment. So I mentioned the game board. Uh, there is a game board that Emily created and it is the game board actually gets shuffled on a monthly basis. So the project starts on the 20th of January, which is today. And on the 10th of February will be the first time that Emily will shuffle the game board. So that gives us time to then, um, you know, take out products if we finish anything and then select new cards and then based on the new prompts we'd be able to then pick new products for based on the cards that we select and then i will actually go ahead and show you guys what the game board looks like now i'm going to scooch over so i can show the game board here so the ace prompt is kind of a, a nod to emily's old uh, other project that she created which is project graveyard so that is a product that was in a previous project pan the jack if you pull a jack in the in your deck of cards that is a whole project roulette so for that prompt i actually have my entire spreadsheet and will like my entire collection in wheel of names that i've used for another project so i would just be able to do the wheel of names and select a new product for that if I got that prompt. So it works out perfectly. So for Q, the prompt is random color generator. And there is a website called randomcolor.com that I could just go to and make it generate a random color. And based on that, I would then select a product based on the color that it generates. Easy peasy. And then K is the oldest product prompt. 
So that would be like the oldest product in any uh, product category. And I would be able to just pick which product category I wanted to work on at the time. And then just really pick the oldest product I have in that category. Okay, so those are the static prompts that don't change. So here's the the rest of the game board. So we've got the um, kind of the rest of the cards. We've got two through 10. And then we've got the hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. And then within, with for each of those kind of cards that could potentially come up, there is a prompt. And so this is what gets, would actually get shuffled on a monthly basis. This is what Emily would be shuffling based on a monthly basis. And as far as the prompts go, like the folks who are participating in this project have been providing additional prompts that Emily has been adding to like the list of prompts that would then get added to the game board potentially. Now, if I get this, the Joker, it's not fun. Emily calls it, are you joking? And if I get the Joker, then I have to work on a product I really don't want to work on and no cheating. So an example of that could be for me, red lipstick, a liquid lipstick, probably a lip liner because I suck at panning lip liners apparently. Uh, I'd have to think about it a little bit more. Probably black eyeshadow. But really red lipstick. Red lipstick is the thing that I seriously cannot, like I never put them in projects ever. So red lipstick is probably the one. So once I've selected my five cards for this month, I'm actually gonna put them back in the deck. So the cards will always go back into the deck and then they get shuffled again for the next time I select a card. So you never like leave the cards out. So it's like I could get the Joker again. The other thing that can potentially happen is you can get the same prompt twice. If a prompt ends up on the game board more than once in the project, right? And I just so happen to pull the card that goes for that prompt more th in the project twice, like twice, then I, you know, I could potentially be working on the same product. So for an example, this month, the nine of diamonds is highlight. And I so if I pull a nine of diamonds this month, I would have to pick a highlight. But let's say six months from now, it is the four of clubs. And I pull four of clubs. I would have to also work on another highlight. So you could potentially get the same prompt twice within the duration of this project. So that's kind of one of the interesting pieces of this project. So hopefully I explained that really well. I probably didn't, but I will leave Emily's video for this project introduction down below. So she explained it much better than I did. And you can watch it and get a better idea of how this project is going to work. So now I'm gonna shuffle my cards. So here we go. I kind of want to be able to we're just gonna do it like normal I do look there's the Joker at the bottom let me get that in there. okay all right I'm going to Here's my deck and I'm just going to select one card. Oh, we have an ace and the ace was a project graveyard. So I'm going to pick the cards and then I'll pick my products afterwards. So we have an ace. I have a project graveyard. Let me put this joker away because I don't, I didn't pick that one. Okay, another product, another card. Five of hearts. Okay, five of hearts is social media picks. Ah. So I'm gonna need to put a poll on Instagram, which means you guys get to pick, which means I can't finish this video today. 
Okay. That's crazy. All right. Let's see, two of hearts. Two of hearts is brand new. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay. Oh my God, I have three cats over here. I wish I could show y'all, but. Oh my God, all hearts, four of hearts. What is the four of hearts? A blush. All right, that is the five of spades. And I did not pick the joker. Five of spades is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Represent another project. So represent another project is a product that could potentially be in another project. So, so it could be like, a project product that could be in a graveyard project pan or could be like in an A to Z project or partners in cream, right? So a product, a project, a product that could rep be represented in another project. It took me a while to remember what that meant. Okay. So I'm going to at least pick my four that I know that I have. And then the fifth one, I will have to put up a poll on Instagram for my Instagram folks to pick. And then um, I'll basically, we'll probably have to do like a little extra little insert in a totally different getup <laughs> uh, to let you guys know what that is. So let me pull these four and I'll be right back. One eternity later. Okay, I have my products. And I have pulled the products and I'm going to have the social media pics where my, I'm going to post on Instagram. So I'll show you what I have pulled that folks are going to choose from. And it looks like we have a, another friend. Ziggy likes to hang out with me when I film. Hey. I know you can't hear him, but he is purring so loud. Okay, let me show you guys what I picked. So the first card I think I picked was the Ace. And this was the Project Graveyard. So for that, I went back and forth. I almost picked a Gimme product. I almost picked this, which is a Rimmel powder this is the translucent powder i don't even remember what it's called because it's like all the writing is all rubbed off on it but i said no i'm not going to pick the pick this easy of, an, of a product instead i went with this bite beauty lipstick in mauvember this is a very old lipstick. It's from 2016. And you know, it's funny. Everyone's like, oh, these lipsticks go bad really easily. I've had some of these for a very long time and they still smell, still smell really good. I, they feel good. They smell good. They're still super creamy. Nothing's wrong with them. I don't know. So here's that Mauvember shade. It's gorgeous. I don't have very much left on it. Let me put that down. So I want to get this finished. And you know why guys? Because I have a second tube of this. So I fell in love with it when it first came out. And so I bought a second tube and I still haven't finished the first tube. So I need to finish it. So that's my goal for this is to finish it up. So the second card that I pulled is, I think it was the two of hearts. I think this was the second card I pulled. I could be wrong, but anyway, for that, I pulled this jelly tart jelly glaze and it's their anytime lip mask and the scent is sugar cookie. So I got these at the end of the year from Sephora. I think it was in a four pack. 
so I have three other ones and this is what five grams so there's not a ton in here but I think I can finish this this little baby sample up so that's my goal is to finish this up so two lip products <laughs> Okay, the next card I think I have is a Four of Hearts, and that is a blush. And after I was like, ugh, a blush, no. I was actually kind of happy because I recently was started doing my inventory, and I'm not even close to halfway done. I mean, like, uh, maybe an eighth of the way done. Like, I'm not even near done with it but I kind of set aside or marked several blushes that I wanted to test to see if I wanted to keep so that's what I pulled I was like well let me pull a blush that I kind of wanted to test out on my skin to see if it was a good match so I decided to go with a NARS blush and this shade is it's in the shade sin so it's a gorgeous shade. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's a beautiful shade. I'm just wondering if it's a little too deep for my skin. So let me do a little swatch here. It kind of reminds me of this um, Ulta blush that I'm currently panning as well. So it doesn't really look that dark on my hand as a swatch. But the pan scares me. So I guess we'll see. I'm going to, obviously I'm not going to try to hit pan on this. I really want to just use it 20 times. And I think by using it 20 times, I'll be able to gauge, like, is it a blush that I want to keep in my collection or do I want to declutter it? And that's kind of the purpose of me putting it in this project is to make that determination. So that's the goal for this is to use it 20 times. Okay, so the next card is the Five of Spades. And this one was represent another project. So for that, I decided to do the uh, Fantastic Ladies Project Skin Is In, which is one of my favorite projects. And what I wanted to do with that prompt was actually to bring in some sheet masks because I have a bunch of sheet masks and I may have some more coming in. Spoiler, spoiler. So I selected five because I'm not going to make it easy on myself. I want to go through five of these. I do have other masks in my, you know, in other projects that I'm working on. So this isn't necessarily a gimme for me. So I want to get through these five. Now the two, the five that I have selected. So I have two of these Esfolio egg essence masks. And these aren't like the only ones I have of these. I think I have, I purchased a box from TJ Maxx. So I want to say I have like three or four or more of these, but I at least want to get through two. And then I have two from, I have three from Leaders, but I have two of the Collagen Boosting Renewal Mask. And then I have one from Leaders, which is the Aloe Soothing Renewal Mask. So I want to get through those five masks. And I think, so those were the four cards that I pulled that were not the social media. Now let's look at the products that I'm going to post on Instagram for folks to select from. I pulled seven products for people to choose from. So the first is kind of boring, it's a mascara. Um, I pulled this because I'm currently working on a mini mascara, like a little sample. And after that, I don't really have a mascara in a project. So I was like, well, let me throw a mascara in there to see if it gets selected. So this is the MAC False Eyelashes. I have, a, have not heard the best reviews about this mascara, but I have it and it needs to get used. So that's in there. I also selected this ColourPop highlighter in flexitarian so this is the super sh shock cheek highlighter in flexitarian and so this is what it looks like and I have used this a few times 
but not a ton. It is a blinding highlight. I'm sure those of you who have this know what I'm talking about. It is blinding and so I'm a little scared if this gets picked but it you know I could pair it with something else and but it, and it needs to get some use. <laughs> I need some love. So that is Flexitarian and I did also pull two lipsticks or lip products I should say. The first one is from ColourPop. It's one of their lippy sticks and it is in Lumiere. So that is the shade with that I have. And that is about how much I have left of this. So, um, you know, it's gotten some use. Oh yeah, I think I've used about half of this. I've gotten some use on it, but it needs, it needs some more more love. So that is what Lumiere looks like. I mean, who doesn't know what Lumiere looks like from ColourPop? And then the other one that I pulled is from Urban Decay and is one of their Vice lipsticks. And this is in Violet. I love this shade. So this is how much I have left in this one. As you can see, it is a favorite of mine. So they're both very, they're kind of in the same color family. One's definitely pinker than the other, so that's violet. All right, so those are the two lippies that I pulled. Then I pulled a loose powder. I don't have a loose powder in a project, so I'm kind of like flailing around like, oh, what do I use? And so I've been using, I've been waffling between this and this um, Thrive Cosmetics powder. So, Milo, that's Milo. Hi Milo, hey Bubby, bye. So I pulled this um, Too Faced Peach Perfect, <laughs> wait a minute. Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. And this is Mattifying Loose Setting Powder infused with Peach and Sweet Fig Cream. And this has been in a previous project. So like you can see, I've got some lines here on the side. So I've used it in a project before and it's, it's nice. It's not, I mean, it's not my favorite. I think I prefer the, the Laura Mercier tr translucent powder, but I would like to obviously use that up. So, so that's in there. And then I also just saw this sitting up, up on my vanity and I've never used this. So it's the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Why not? You know, actually, why don't I, I don't think it shows up very well in a swatch, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, so that's what that looks like. Uh, it seems like it's really nice. Um, I do have a MAC strobe cream in my Partners in Cream. So I would need to use that up first before I would go to this. But, you know, that, should be, that shouldn't take me too long. It's a little sample. I'm kind of hoping this one gets picked. I don't know if it will. I've never used this. And I was so excited whenever I bought it. Typical makeup freak. So this is the MAC Dazzle Shadow and this is in the shade Every Day is Sunshine. This is the Dazzle Shadow liquid obviously and this is beautiful. Now I don't know how it performs on the lids because like I said I've never used it but dang it's pretty. doesn't really show up very well in with the lights but oh, mm, pretty and so a couple of reasons why I want to actually see this at the project a I've never used it B the palette that I'm working on for tiny pans the Lorac Pro 3 the shimmers are 
satiny. They're not super like glittery and I sometimes like a little bit more oomph. So I think this will add that, help add some oomph to that palette. So would Flexitarian to be honest. I could totally use that on my eyes. So, but those are the, the products that I picked for the social pans. So, or the social picks. So I will post that on Instagram and then I'll come back and I'll add to this video what was picked for that prompt and update you guys. So. Hey guys, it's Jalen. I'm just hopping on here real quick. I just ran some errands. You can see I have a line here for my mask. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and update you on the deck of panning project. So I did post on Instagram the products that I had pulled for the social media pics and the product that was not necessarily the clear winner, but it was the one that had the most votes was the Urban Decay Lipstick in Violet. So I think for that lipstick, I'm going to try and finish it because it's, there's still a lot left in there, but it's a beautiful lipstick. I think I can wear it quite a bit and I do, it's kind of older, so I would like to go ahead and get it out of my collection. Um, Sorry for those trash bags out there. <laughs> uh, so that's the social media pics prompt and the product that I'm going to use for that. And anyway, so back to the video. So guys, thank you so much for watching this introduction. I am so excited for this project and thank you so much to Emily for creating this amazing project. It's such an interesting and fun idea and I love all the prompts and even though it sounds complicated it's really not once you actually get to actually playing the game. I'm so excited to be participating in this project with all these amazing panners. So anyway thanks again like I said for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <sighs> this is gonna be challenging. Hey guys, it's Jaylon, welcome back. And I'm, oh my God, I can't do this. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Jaylon and I'm here to do an introduction for, oh my God, an NC8. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. I'm here tonight to do a new, oh my God. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. I'm here to do an introduction for a new project pan. This is the deck of panning and it was <laughs> Hi. Hi, baby. <gasps> Milo's coming. Come here, Milo. I'm gonna get him on camera. Come here. Come say hi. Hi, baby. This is Milo. Oh, God, it's fur. This is my Milo. Oh, gosh, okay. This is Milo. Oh. He doesn't want to be on camera. Hey, baby. Okay. Goodbye. He don't like that. Milo. This one is like a ham. You're a ham.